So Arnie, last weekend's result against Newcastle, obviously a hugely positive one. Has it been strange for you coming back into this environment and winning every week when they've maybe been struggling before? Um, I wouldn't say strange, but uh, personally I think it's been good for me. I've been looking forward to getting back and playing with the boys. Uh, obviously the World Cup was a good experience to be playing with uh, fellow Tongan mates. but. Um, yeah, but after, after we beat in France, I sort of uh, had it around my head that I needed to get back and, and try and earn my, my uh, place in the team. So I'm quite pleased with how uh, I've come back and we started winning. So that's not just down to the players coming back. I think everything's a positive mood around the camp at the moment. So we're looking to uh, progress onto the Heineken Cup and, and hopefully this, this week against Wasps will be a, a start for us. Last end of last season, the pack was obviously moving forward as it had for most of the season. I mean, you've come back in and it's still doing the same. Is it easy to just slot straight back into that front row? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's, it's been a while. Last week was the first time since the Heineken Cup final that I've played with uh, both Brian and Dylan. So, uh, luckily, we've been together for a few years and it didn't feel as awkward as it, as it would have been if we hadn't played for uh, as long as we have been. But just the way the, the camp's going at the moment and the atmosphere within the squad, especially in the forwards, is, uh, is brilliant and it's made it a lot easier for myself to slot back into the squad. Down at Adams Park last season, you obviously picked up a huge win over Wasps. You bagged two tries yourself. I know personnel's changed and their coaches have changed, but do you get a feel-good feeling going places like that again? Um, we've got to be positive about it. Um, and like you said, like last year we've, this is uh, something that's either going to wind them up and, and uh, want to come back hard at us, or uh, hopefully that when we go down, they will be positive that we come out with a similar result, um, if not better. So it's, it's just something that we've had. Depending, it depends on us and how we take it. And uh, definitely after this week's training, we're, we're pretty positive and we're going down there to, to try and repeat what we did last year. But it's not going to be easy. So. We'll just have to wait and see. Looking at that Wasp side, obviously they've beaten the likes of Saracens, Leicester and Bath this season. Um, they're up there challenging for a playoff place. How dangerous are they as a side? I think they're, they're <laughs> dangerous as any other team in the Premiership. Um, obviously, like you said, they've got new personnel and new and the coaching staff and in the playing uh, squad. So it's, uh, it's a, they're, they're, they're pretty dangerous. They've got dangerous players all over the park. So it's, it's not, you're not just marking one or two players, you've got, there's a lot of players that you can keep an eye out for, so we'll set to again, mark them and shut them down and then hopefully play our own game and, and try and get on top of them.